people on where you are. We're looking at another brilliant source audio pedal, and I'm saying that right off the bat because you know it's true. Spring, which is, <laughs> I didn't even plan that. So um, we have a, oh, thank you. We have a rather complicated video set up for a spring reverb. Why that, Henning, you ask? Because it has an editor, it is stereo. In addition to what you see on the front, it's also a tremolo. Um, and in order to compare it with something in a more classic amp, even though that's supposed to be Fendery, I, I don't, I don't know spring reverbs. Um, we're also comparing it with the spring reverb and tremolo in the Tone King Sky King. Hey, Leo, doggy just came in. And um, Ari, if you throw away the pedal for a second again. Leslie back there is my reverb manipulator, pretty much a foot switch, um, for the Tone King reverb because that is not foot switchable. I can switch the tremolo from below, but not the reverb. So thank you, Leslie, for sitting there till I need you. Good. The setup is rather complicated. We're going to go through it as we approach the different points. I'm using this stratac stratacular thing with a winging neck. Nick Johnson signature from Schecter Custom Shop. It's beautiful and almost matches the sweater and almost matches the amp. And color matching is what matters in music. So, um, we're going into the Tone King Sky King, mic with the Lewitt MTP 440 and the Ox with the 412 cream back. So, uh, right now we're going mono, which means I'm going to go into my software here and mute the torpedo and pull the stereo out. Because this pedal, if you go to the pedal side, Harry, um, this pedal has stereo input and stereo output, which can be used in different ways, I think. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to assume that the way that... <laughs> Look at Harry, sneaky man. Um, oh, by the way, Harry Holden up there switching for me from Harry and a guitar. Depending on what you plug in, uh, it can auto-sense whether you have one input going to stereo or stereo to stereo or maybe even wet and dry. There's different things all adjustable in the software. Say hi to Leo, who's uh, visiting today. Hi, Leo. Leo, hello? He doesn't care. Okay, back to me and the pedal. So... Um, that's the amp by itself. So we're gonna just turn this on a little bit. Let's mix. true spring because it's supposed to be a very realistic uh, recreation of what used to be in Fender amps. Thing is, I have no clue what these are supposed to sound like because I don't know. I didn't play those amps. I'm, I'm not very knowledgeable about the authenticity of the sound. Let's just listen to it and say if we like it or not. That's really all that matters, I think. So we have level. If we turn that down, we have nothing. So adjust the level. We have mix. Guess what? Nothing. Can we go full reverb? Could be kind of cool. Could be, could be, could be. We have dwell, but let's not dwell on that. Lame jokes right here. can tell you what well does it does something and then you got tone I like
like more tone, more dwell. So with mix, uh, no, we, uh, well, we're pretty much done showing what the thing does. Beautiful. We're gonna go to long because we like short. <laughs> I should be sharp 11, goddammit! That is fun! play surf music I would only that I cannot hey wait hey Harry can you play surf music he can play a little, can play a little. let's switch Harry Holden <laughs> music so um then you got tank i don't know what that means reverb tank possibly <laughs> apparently surf music is going on the wiggle stick i don't know the different settings give you different degrees of drippiness. It's all fun, that's what matters. We're gonna do stereo first. <sighs> Which means I am now going into the Rev Dynamis on the right side. I'm going into the Rev Generator 740 one side is going into the torpedo. Let's go to the amp cam there, uh, Leslie. No, what's your name? Harry. No, not the amp cam. I'm sorry, the, <laughs> the amps wall. Okay, so right there, torpedo studio, which is functioning as a load box for the Rev Dynamis. Um, and the Rev Generator, which is also beautifully green and matching to me, um, is going into the Torpedo Reload, which is then going line level into the right side of the Torpedo Studio. So I'm actually using the Torpedo Studio and the Reload to be a load box for both amps. Both amps have the spring in front of it. So what you're hearing are also uh, two IRs of uh, Mesa Lone Star caps. No, you're not. Now you are.
What did you play? What, did, you, did I ever watch Johnny Bravo? I love Johnny Bravo. They did uh, this. <laughs> Exactly that. So, here we have the whole beauty of this total, total true, true spring in stereo. playing so um there's way more than what's on the front panel so let's go stereo as my mom says my mom doesn't say stereo she says she says stereo um now we have uh, the editor so right there and that actually is ridiculous if you pull i'm gonna pull the usb Right now it's saying USB not there. So if I take this USB cable, plug it in, it takes technically a millisecond for the editor to notice. By the way, there is, right there, by the way, there's a pedal. And you hit edit, and then you're in this edit mode. Whereas in this area up here, in this area up here, you have the reverb section. Then in this area in the middle, you have the tremolo section. And in the lower area, you have assignments for the knobs. You could have any parameter on any knob. Now again, on the front panel, we have uh, short, long, and tank, which are three uh, algorithms that you can see right here. Uh, how do you make that bigger? Go to the other setting. You are le man, as they say in, you know, Paris. Um, in out routing options, mono to stereo, stereo in stereo out, mono with wet dry through, some to mono, blah blah blah. Oh, it's got an external loop, so you could use uh, the uh, right side in in and out two as an external loop for fuzzes if you were nuts. Um, we're gonna do auto detect. So we've already heard three different algorithms. Tiny tank, nothing here is ever tiny. Very fluttery. Triple spring. Ah, darker. Now, technically, if I move something on the pedal, you'll see the interface change with it. Right there, see? I'm manipulating dwell, and the interface sluggishly pulls along, but it does show me where I am. Um, so that's pretty pretty cool. You can actually work with the pedal and the interface at the same time. And back to me. And now on the triple spring, we have extra large. That's my kind of size. Oh, come on! I want more level of more. great is a pedal where all you have to do is A, and you're happy! You might want to throw in a D. That's gorgeous! That's the triple spring. Here's the space spring. That is great for someone with a lisp. Space spring. God, that's got a fluttery tremolo. Mm -hmm. 
that's just great. And you could, you know, load that up as a preset. That's the drip machine. That sounds like a 70s Bond movie. So much Hall S. I don't know what that means. Trash can spring. Trashy Ventress True Spring. So that's the algorithm from the Ventress. I'm playing, but it's all fun. Ventress Outboard, I have no clue. Also fine, okay, let's go, let's, let's go uh, long. Fine. Uh, I have more reverb controls here. I have time, bass, pre-delay, diffusion, modulation, oh, modulation. Modu modulation, ah, oh, très bien. <laughs> Um, so, take the modulation down, mix down a bit, and, well, we're going to turn the tremolo on by impre increasing, no, not increasing, what's the word, Leslie? Increasing. Increasing the depth. And now you can hear the stereonicity. Now the tremolo is also affecting the dry signal. You could only have it on the reverb or on everything. I don't know which one is which. Okay, so that's a bias tremolo. There's an opto tremolo. I don't know which one is more severe. Oh wait, what if I do depth all the way? Yeah, that's affecting both. It's That's worded weirdly. Dry signal, wet dry mix, I don't know. This is, wet dry mix is the one where the dry signal also gets tremoloed. Opto is more harsh in its cutaceousness. Harry and I, we agree, harmonic is always the best. Let's see which one do you like more, bias, opto or harmonic? It all sounds the same to her. So I'm going to go with bias to compare it to the amp. Now, Harry, if you move that up a little bit, we can see tap tempo, beat division. I don't even know how you tap. Don't ask me. Didn't figure that out. You figure that out. I'm sorry. Um, you, you can assign the knobs now. You can say that the, uh, the dwell knob does all these different parameters. 
Okay, we're not going to go into that. There's even an alternate. I don't even know how you access, access the alternate. Technically, that looks like each knob can have two different functions. How crazy is that? The tone knob can do tone. It could also do time, diffusion, modulation rate. So technically, dwell and tone could be modulation rate and depth if that's what you wanted for one of the three assignable presets on the pedal. Now, how do I assign what I just did? Let's say the the long and the bias tremolo. How do I assign that? Well, actually, I want, let's do this. I want uh, depth, tremolo depth and tremolo rate right there. How do I save that there? I should have tried this before I shot the video. Save. If I now switch... Great, a little bit less level, a little bit less mix, and I save it. Beautiful! So, kick that away, Harry, and bring the pedal back in. We're gonna go back to mono by pulling this out by mm -hmm, going to amp 16 and back to the aux and the setup we had before. So now I can control depth and speed. That's really long now, I don't quite understand why, but okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to turn this off, and Leslie will be my reverb lady, and she'll crank up the reverb to about 9 o'clock. Ah, okay, yeah. More. I was wrong there. More. Give me some more. Sounds quite a bit darker. Give me more of that. Sounds like the mix is way, way more subtle. Give me more of that. can never go crazy. Turn that off. Yeah, you can't really compare the two. Not at all. Again, all the way there. It's darker, it's in this case much longer than the short one now. Really tough to say. Turn that off. Actually, no, leave, leave it, leave it, leave it where it is. I'm gonna turn the terminal on. Give me some more rate on the terminal, please. You should always sit there, Leslie. Uh, 
Um, okay, I can turn that off. And reverb off. Reverb off. The True Spring by Source Audio People from, I think, Le Boston, which is somewhere near Lyon. Um, the really super high-end analog tremolo and spring reverb, I don't know who makes it, if that's Akutronic, so I have no idea. It's an amazing reverb and tremolo in an amp that costs you 3000 300 euro, I think. It's an amazing amp. I love this amp, and Harry can't shut up about how great the Sky King by Tone King is. Um, sounds great. However, the True Spring does a phenomenal job with it. A little bit more dreamy on the reverb, I would call it. It's a different flavor, and I'm pretty sure if I wanted to get that darker flavor of the uh, spring reverb in the Tone King, I could, because any kind of spring you can do with a true spring. Now, it's also not a fair comparison because the true spring we put before the amp, before the preamp, I'm pretty sure that the reverb and also the tremolo is behind uh, the preamp, so that's in some kind of loop. Who cares? Two great sounds. The big question is, why would you get the True Spring and not the Ventress? Le deux reasons. Reason number un. Why am I doing this? Reason number one. <laughs> um, it's smaller and less confusing because it has four knobs and three switches. And um, that means that on a board, you're like, okay, here's my little spring that's good for this song, go to doom, go doom for a little country thing and slapbacky thing. And uh, you want something really lush with a space algorithm. Um, it's pretty much a open the software once, set up your three presets, and then set and forget. And then you have a pedal that has three great sounds. Yeah, so A, ease of use. If all you need is springs and a tremolo, it'll do the job. Um, size. It's smaller than the Ventress. Price, it's half the price of the Ventress. So if the Ventress is overkill for you, and it's a great pedal, but if it's overkill for you, the True Spring will keep you in house with Source Audio um, and, and pretty much give you most of what you need. That's all I'm saying. The, the stereo thing, whoa, 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 is pretty damn cool too. So uh, yeah, links below, animals at the end. Thank you, Source Audio. You get my bill when I'm, as soon as I'm done talking, when I write, give me money. I'm getting paid for this video, just to let you know. Um, I have to let you know, because otherwise, you know. Hey, um, thanks to Ari and the guitar from Le England and Leslie behind the pedal and Leo for hanging out. Right, Leo? Yeah. He's like, what? I'm hanging out, what? See you guys. And now you're